Hey there, it's Casey Dim here with the TaxAllAcademy.com talking about a super powerful tool called GIS. Now, if you don't know what GIS is, it stands for Geographic Information System. Like I said, it's a super powerful tool when it comes to locating properties. Before we start talking about GIS, let's talk about the old school method of doing it, the method that is still used in many counties. What happens is when you have a tax list, you'll have a legal description that basically tells you where the property is. But unless you're a genius, you won't know exactly where that property is without further research. So what you'll do is you'll take that legal description. If it's a measured description, well, Good luck finding it, you know, unless you're a surveyor. Your best case scenario for the, using the old school method is finding a piece of property in a subdivision. So it might say the Jones subdivision, lot one, block one. So what you do is you look at block one, lot one on the plat map of the Jones subdivision, and you try to transpose it onto some sort of mapping service, whether it's Bing, Google, Yahoo, wherever it may be, to figure out exactly where that property is. Then you measure from some sort of reference point on the plat map and hope you get, you know, the right general area. What happens here is that sometimes you won't have reference points. It might be a subdivision on one long road, so you have nowhere to measure from, so you're literally guessing at where that property is. And number two, I was looking at a plat map yesterday, was from 1902, and a lot of areas will have very old plat maps. What happens here is over 100 years, you know, stuff changes. So you might be looking for Smith Ave that's on this plat map, and it's changed to 14th Street. So good luck finding Smith Ave on the you know, mapping services that you're going to be used because it's going to be labeled as 14th Street and you'll never find it. And this is where GIS comes in very, very handy. It does all this information for you. It transposes the plat map onto an actual map. If it's a meets and bounds legal description, it also puts it onto an actual map. And most counties that use GIS will have the availability of a layer that allows you to look at it as an aerial photo. So you'll be looking at an aerial photo of the country or an aerial photo of that area and it will have an outline of where that property is. You'll be able to see if there's a structure on it, you'll be able to see what the neighbors look like and all sorts of other stuff. A lot of GIS systems also have layers. You know, it'll show you school zones, where the water lines are, if there's any oil or septic tanks. It'll also show you voting precincts, churches, all sorts of great information that will help you make a determination whether that property is suitable for you to invest or not. Now, we're going to go to a very short clip and I'm going to show you the power of GIS and how it can help your business. I'll see you after the clip. Okay, so what we have here is a typical GIS screen when you start off. What we're going to do is we're going to hit search. We're going to search by the parcel number as if it's a parcel number that we pulled off a tax cell list. Click run search. That's going to give us the result down here. So we're going to click on this parcel ID number. It's going to load the parcel into the GIS for us, as well as some other various information on the right hand side here. So we have this loaded onto a map. Now the cool thing becomes whenever you turn this map into an aerial photo. So we're going to mapping, layer selection, 2011 aerial. So obviously these are from 2011, the aerial shots are. We'll let this load for a second and then it shows us an aerial of the house. So obviously you can see it's on Southwest 140th Court between two houses, actually backs up to a wooded lot, and there's a wooded lot across the street. So right off the bat, it tells us a great deal of information. What we can also do is, you know, if we're concerned about the flood zones, which a lot of people in Florida are, we'll click flood zones, we'll update the map, and then it will show us all the flood zones in this particular area. So right here, we can obviously see that we're actually in flood zone X, or kind of a light green or light grayish. And then to the right hand side, that's flood zone AE. So we know we're not in flood zone AE. You know, if you're concerned about the school district, for example, you can scroll down here to see what elementary school your kids might be going to or your buyer's children might be going to. Click on elementary school, then click update map, and it'll give us the school district boundaries. And as you can see right here, it says Donellan Elementary. So you'll be going to Donellan Elementary School. You can also go through and, you know, different GIS systems have different features and different layers you can use. Some are very advanced or some are very basic. This one here is about uh, middle of the range. It's actually fairly advanced, though. You know, you can go through building dimensions. You can click on dimensions and it'll show you the dimensions of the property or the building, the building type, you know, the address, the amount of acres that the property is. It'll also show you the different qualified cells in the area, which is great when you go to do your comparable cells analysis. So there's lots of cool features when it comes to GIS systems. So I hope you enjoyed that short clip on how powerful GIS is. Unfortunately, GIS is an expense, and it's an expense that a lot of rural counties don't have the money for. So, you know, about 50% of the counties in the country have GIS services, and more and more implementing it every day. 
what I suggest you doing is before you research a county, you need to make that determination whether or not that county has GIS services available. And if they do, certainly take advantage of them because it will save you a lot of time and a lot of money in the long run. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. For more information about the very lucrative tax sale business, check out my website at thetaxsaleacademy.com. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.